Cyberpunk 2077 is supposed to be the most adult game in history. And yes, there was going to be a ton of sex, but there's also going to be romance. Let's go ahead and talk about it. As of uh, this is Lazybolt and welcome to today's video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about SEX. Yes, if you're under 18, cover your ears, cover your eyes, cover your mouth, cover your nose, cover everything up. No, but if, if, if you guys want to know exactly, there's going to be a lot of integral options that you're going to have in regards to sexual content. You're also going to have different interactions on romances. And there's also going to be certain NPCs that are not even going to want to like talk to you uh, because, you know, certain reasons. And we're going to talk about all that information. So it's going to have to determine, you guys are going to have to determine who you want to be and who do you actually want to date or show some interest on you, depending on who you are. But we're going to break that all down in today's video. If you do guys find these videos helpful, and informative do me a huge favor guys drop a like and drop a comment and i am looking at you alex make sure you subscribe turn on those notifications so you won't miss when i cyberpunk 2077 videos go live i don't even know why you haven't subbed make sure you hit that sub and join the bolt nation so let's talk about all these features and the reason i wanted to talk about this topic in particular is because we got the uh, srb rating and the srb rating kind of gives us a big glimpse on what we could expect of the game in addition to that i have some information that you guys are definitely going to want to know that might determine who you pick when you start off remember we have three different paths to pick and we'll talk a little bit about that uh, as we move on further in this video but i did want to go over the srb so this is what the srb says Players can select a gender and customize their character. Customizations can include deception of breasts, botox, genitals, as well as various types of combinations of genitals. Players can encounter events where they have the option to engage in sexual activities with other main characters or prostitutes. These are brief sex scenes from a first-person perspective, depicting particular nude characters moaning suggestively while moving through various positions. That is what that says, guys. So that is basically what we're going to be able to do in the game. Now, how do you go about doing this in the game, right? That's that's one of the questions a lot of people have. Another question is, is there going to be romance? Am I just going to go hit it and quit it? Or what's exactly going to happen? Well, there are going to be a couple of options that you're going to be able to engage. So whether you're someone that doesn't want a relationship and you just want to have like straight out sex and you don't want to deal with that, there's going to be prostitution in the game. There's actually a dedicated street. Yes, a street, not a club. A street called Jiggly Jiggly Street or Jiggy Jiggy Street, something like that. But basically, this street is filled with sexual content. You're going to be able to buy sex toys. You're going to be able to date prostitutes. And if you don't want to do like the whole flesh thing, you can even go without with a robot. It's going to be optional for you guys. So basically, anybody's going to be able to go in here. And, you know, if you don't want to have a relationship, you are you just go here, do your thing, and then hit it and quit it. And you use outies. Now, that is one of the options that you have in the game. In addition to that, for those of you who aren't haven't been following the game, there's a thing called Brain Dance in the game. Now, Brain Dance serves is pretty much like think of it like a movie. Like if you're watching a movie in VR, but it's really playing in your head, basically that's going to be another option of sexual content that you're going to be able to consume. There's going to be clubs uh, that are going to give you that option that you're going to be able to go into a Brain Dance and have that sexual content. Now, in addition to that Brain Dance content. You're also going to have content that's going to be part of the black market. Now, this content that's featured in the black market is going to be like all those type of like fantasies you can't have in real life that you're going to be able to have in like the virtual world, right? So stuff that you couldn't pro probably do physically in real life, you just go ahead, snap yourself into the whole brain dance thing, and then you'll be able to do that. Now, one thing that's kind of crazy, and I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have played Grand Theft Auto. As you guys know, in Grand Theft Auto, we have strip clubs. We also, there's nudity. And, you know, some people are like, oh, that's that's too much. Or some people are like, okay, that's, you know, we want more, right? So if you guys think that is bad, multiply that by 10. And that's pretty much Cyberpunk 2077. Because not only are you going to have, you're going to have regular clubs, you're also going to have strip clubs. Now, we've seen Johnny Silvers, which is Keanu Reeves. He's engaged in the whole strip club thing. As you guys see him, he's like, you know, bringing like glasses of wine to uh to the stripper and stuff like that but you're also going to be able to do that like with your regular v so you're going to be able to have that option to hit up the clubs or you know date whoever you want to date now one of the things that a lot of people are wondering is how is romance going to work because usually in games like assassin's creed Valhalla, the witcher usually the way you're able to engage in romance is like you know you'll see like a little heart pop on like on a dialogue and then you just click the right you know trigger buttons and that's going to give you a sexual scene, right? Because you're going to be able to 
kind of, you know, go out with the girl and you already know, it kind of tells you what to pick in order for you to be able to hit it and quit it or, you know, just have sex, right? Uh, and this game, it doesn't work like that. Uh, kind of crazy, it actually works like real life. And I'm going to explain how this works. So you're going to be able to have sex with the majority of the NPCs. There's going to be certain NPCs that you won't be able to do that with. But the way this works is actually pretty interesting. It's something we haven't seen in video games. Uh, basically, the character will be able to identify if you're fugly or if you're not fugly. It's going to know exactly if it wants to date you, if you're the uh, if you're the right sexual orientation. So you might want to hit on someone and they're probably like, you know, they, they don't even do, do guys or they don't even do girls. They only, you know, so it's going to be kind of crazy. We've never seen this in a video game. Uh, basically, they're going to judge you based on your appearance, based on the way you look, based on the way, the, the, the life path you picked. And based on the car you drive. Yes, it's real life. Uh, 100%. <laughs> so this is the way it works. Uh, you're going to be able to walk up to an NPC. And this NPC is going to judge if you guys, uh, you know, if you approve, right? If, you, if you're stamped, you're approved. Uh, if you are approved, you're actually going to have to start a relationship with them. It's not like something like where you're going to be able to trigger, like, you know, they're going to ask you a question and, you you know, you get said like the correct answer. They ask you another question and then you, you're able to have sex with them. No, it doesn't work that way. In this game, you're actually going to need to know them. You need to find out what they like. You need, it's, it's pretty much like dating, guys. If, if you've never dated, this is probably going to be your first dating experience because you're going to be able to you're going to have to know who they like, what kind of movies they like, where do they like to hang out, if they like to work out, if they don't like to work out, if they like to play video games. Yes, you're going to need to know all that before you actually are able to you know, date someone. So it's going to be kind of interesting. We've never had that because the character is going to, just like you're judging them by the way they look, if you want to you know, have a, a relationship with them, they're going to judge you by the way you designed your character and the way you look in the game, which is kind of crazy. Now, one thing that's interesting is that there's going to be certain characters in the game that you're not going to be able to have relationships with if you decided to pick a certain, uh, you know, a certain life path. So if you're a nomad and you want to date someone like Evelyn Parker, you're not going to be able to date her because she is only corporate. So the only way you're going to be able to date her is if you're either a street kid or a corporate. So if you're a nomad, you're not going to be able to date her. Another person that's extremely popular is Judy. Now, Judy, for example, you're not going to be able to have sex with her or date her or talk to her if you do not. The rumor is you have to be street kid and you have to be a female character. So not even if you're a male character, you'll be able to have some sort of relationship with her. So that's that's how crazy the game is. Right. So depending on who you pick, it's going to be determining based on who you're going to be able to have a relationship with and who you're actually going to be able to date. Now, there are some characters that there's still questions out there if you're going to be able to have relationships with based on the gangs you're affiliated with. Remember, like I said in my previous video, which we went on five things you need to know, is that there's going to be a, a very hard choice that you're going to have to make in determining who you become friends with and who do you become enemies with, because that's going to actually determine your relationships that you're going to be able to have in the game. Whether you want to date someone and you want to make sure you know you you hit it and quit it or you just have a relationship with them if you're if you're enemies with like their you know their gang members you're not going to be able to do that and that's all going to affect the play style of the game i think that's kind of interesting the way the game actually played it out where the character judges you by the way you look instead of just you being able to judge the character by the way they look and it's also interesting that there's going to give there's going to give you an option whether you want to have a relationship with someone in the game or you don't want to have a relationship in the game and if you just want to have sex, you could just go to the Jiggly Street and be able to have sex there. Or if you want to have sex with a robot or sex with a prostitute, you're going to be able to make that option. Now, I want to know from you guys, though, in the comment section down below, how many of you guys are going to go the romance path? How many of you guys are going to go ahead and quit it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And it's kind of interesting the way game this game plays out. Another question I have for you guys, how much sex is too much sex in a video game? You think we should have it? We shouldn't have it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do hope you guys are enjoying our Cyberpunk 2077 content. We are going to have a ton of content here on the channel, so make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss our content. And don't forget to check us out over on Discord to engage with more other people who are actually playing the game. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.